adjusting the motor resolution on the Onefinity Elite series with Masso controller. All Elite machines shipped after October 25th of 2024 will have these changes pre-applied. Making these changes is a two-part process. Part one is the hardware changes, starting with the switches on the motors. To remove the motor covers, use a number two Phillips head to remove the two screws holding the plastic cap in place. With the cover removed, you'll see the six white dip switches, all of them in the on position. We're going to change switches number one and number four to a down off position. Those two switches have been changed. We can replace the cap and secure it in place with the two screws. I'm going to repeat this process on each of the four motors, making sure to only switch the number one and number four switches to the down off position. The rest of the switches will stay the same. Because the Z-axis homing sensor is zip tied to the Z-axis motor wires, we're going to remove the green terminal blocks to make the switch changes a bit easier. With those terminal blocks pulled from the motor, we can adjust the number one and number four switches to the off position, pushing towards the end of the motor. And with those put in the correct position, we can reinstall our terminal blocks as well as our motor cover. Once those terminal blocks are reinstalled, we can also replace the motor cover and secure it in place with the screws that we removed earlier. Software changes. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Onefinity CNC forum. That is forum.onefinitycnc.com. Here's where we're going to find the files we'll need as well as the instructions on how to update the machine configuration. Once you've reached the forum's landing page, you can scroll down and on the left column, you will find a section labeled Machines Elite Series. We'll select the second to last option in that section labeled Masso Default Configuration FAQ. Within there, we'll find another labeled Elite Series Masso Default Machine Settings. It should be the second option. We're going to click on that, and here we can see we have all of the files for all three machine sizes and configurations. Here, I'm using a woodworker, so I'm going to select Woodworker X50 and download both the five axis settings and five axis tools files. Once you've downloaded the settings that match your machine, you can scroll down to find the instructions. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to minimize this window and open up our file folders. Here I've already plugged a USB into the computer so it's ready to go. You can see here I've labeled it Elite WW for Elite Woodworker. And on this USB I'm going to start by making a new folder and I'm going to name that folder MASSO in all caps. This is case sensitive so it's important that you do this step exactly how I've shown you here. Once we've created that folder, we're going to double click on it and create a subfolder called Machine Settings with a capital M and a capital S. Once we've created that subfolder called Machine Settings, we can now drag our files back over from our Downloads folder into our new Machine Settings subfolder. We're going to select both of these and double check that they both have the .htg file extension. Then we can drag them over the USB and hover so that the Masso folder pops up. Once the Masso folder pops up, we'll hover over that until the machine settings pops up and we'll drop the files into that folder. Once we've dropped those in, we'll just double check to make sure that everything copied over successfully. And now we're ready to eject our USB and move back to the Masso controller. After we've loaded our settings to our USB stick and ejected it, we can plug it into the USB port on the bottom of the Masso and power on the controller. Once the controller has booted up, we'll press the F1 setup page button and it will prompt us to enter the password. We'll press the enter key here and that will clear that. Next, we'll press Save and Load Settings, followed by the Load From File button. After pressing Load From File, a message will appear indicating whether the file has loaded successfully or has failed. After loading the file, press Reboot and the controller will restart. We'll go back into the F1 page one more time to check the axes. When you double click on an axis, you'll notice that the drive pulses per revolution has now changed from 400 to 2000. 
double check those settings to make sure they've taken and now you're ready for smoother, higher resolution carves. Happy carving!